You want to grow in your walk with God? Well, the cool news is you are created just like Jesus in that you were created to grow while here on earth. Think about Jesus' life. When he was here on this earth, he grew in wisdom and he grew in knowledge and we are called to do the same. So if that's you, if you want to grow, then this video is for you. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Pastor John. It's good to see you. Listen, we have a Bible giveaway going on. You got two weeks left. You got until March 15th. So if you want to join that, subscribe to this channel, uh, follow my Instagram account, share one of my Instagram reels, and sign up in the form, the Google form below, and that's how you'll enter to win this amazing Legacy Standard Bible. We live in a time where there is more Christian content out than ever before in history, but the problem is there is so much garbage. I mean, if you scan the internet, you've seen everything from prosperity gospel, to new age teaching within the church, and it is insane. And so I wanted to give you guys a few resources that would help you in your walk with Jesus that I think are, are tried and true. They're a little bit time tested, and they have helped me so much in my walk with the Lord. So let's get into it. As you may know, John Piper has been a huge inspiration in my life, and I love his writings because he's kind of a a new version of Jonathan Edwards. Jonathan Edwards wrote with so much creativity and so much beauty in his sermons, and John Piper kind of cut his teeth on that and, and is bringing it into the age of the church history that we're living in. And so that's why I think his books are so important because they mend kind of great theology also with great creativity and beautiful writing. And the first book on this list is this book called Desiring God by John Piper. This book has done so much in my life. The way that I was introduced to this book, I used to play in a band called Civil Parish and we were playing with 10th Avenue North and we were you know, good friends with those guys. And Mike Donahue sat me down one day, we were having breakfast and he's like, hey man, uh, I want you to check out this book and because I saw on his elbow he had four arrows that were pointing in towards each other and I was like, Mike, what, what's going on with this tattoo? Like, tell me about it. He said, it's from this guy, John Piper, in his book, Desiring God. And Mike told me that this book was going to change the way that I follow Jesus. Because the truth is, before I read this book, I thought that God was all about me. And that's just kind of the age of Christianity that I grew up in, that, that God wants me to be happy. God wants me to have peace in my life. But I didn't realize how much God is about the glory of God. And if, if that's true, then that's actually good for me to understand, and I get more joy out of it. In this book, Dr. Piper takes that idea from the Westminster Catechism, and he says that the chief end of man is to glorify God by enjoying Him forever. It's through us enjoying God that God gets more glory. And, and I didn't realize that. I thought Christianity was about being a good person and doing the right thing and not realizing, man, we are people that are deep in our affections. Like We make so many decisions out of the way that our hearts feel, and Desiring God says, you need to take that truth and you need to use it to help you deepen your relationship with the Lord. And so I would say in my life, that was kind of a starting point for me in John Piper and my walk with John Piper and reading his writings. But that book, Desiring God, man, it opened my eyes in a brand new way to see that God is actually more about himself than he is my glory. It doesn't mean that I'm not important. It doesn't mean that I'm not part of the story, but the story of the Bible is about the glory of God, not about John Adams. The next book that changed my life, and I really think it'll change yours if you read it, is this book by John Piper called Don't Waste Your Life. Don't Waste Your Life is kind of built off of a sermon that John Piper preached at Passion. I think it was in 2001. And in that sermon, he talks about how the American dream is to make enough wealth and, and develop enough status and enough stuff that you can live out the rest of your days after retirement walking on the beach collecting shells. And in that he says, man, that is such a miserable way to live, especially for the Christian who's called to make disciples every single day until they take their final breath, because that's what Christ called us to do. And that's the only life that's truly worth living. And so this was really impactful for me because I thought the American dream was what we should be after. I thought a better house, a bigger car, all that stuff was what we needed, but the reality is we need Jesus and our calling in that is to make more disciples for Jesus rather than more disciples for this just self-deflating American dream. And so if you have a student that's going into college or going into high school, I think this is such a good book for them to read to realize that, man, you have one life to live. Why would you waste it all on yourself? Why would you waste it on temporary things when you can use your life to impact the eternal kingdom of God? So don't waste your life. Great book. The next book on our list is kind of a cheat book because it's a guy who's on John Piper's staff, but you can tell when he's writing, man, he has been discipled by John Piper, and it's this book called Habits of Grace by David Mathis. Now, I have many copies of this book, but I cannot seem to find one while I'm filming this, and so, look, I've got the book right here. Here it is, that's the book. 
Habits of Grace. I think this is a perfect book for somebody who's become a believer and never really understood why we read our Bible, why we pray, why we spend time in fellowship with other believers, because he doesn't just spend time focusing on what you do after you become saved. He focuses on why we as Christians do the things we do. And I actually read this book at the beginning of every year just to remind myself of the sweetness of the disciplines that we've been given as Christians to connect back with God. When we realize that we have God's ear in prayer and we have God's voice to us through his word and we have God's people around us, it really does grow us in our faith. I mean, I think that for me, this is one of the more impacting books that I've read probably in the last five years. And so I would highly recommend Habits of Grace by David Mathis. You might not agree with everything John Piper writes, and that's okay, neither do I, but his writing is beautiful. It's filled with creative ways of saying things. And so it's really engaging for me, and I think it'd be really engaging for you. If you want to kind of open up and unlock some new areas of your life of discipleship and development, then I think these books are for you. But the reality is, Nothing will help us grow if the Holy Spirit is not moving in us. And so take time, buy these books, right? That's good tools, but the one who's going to apply those tools is going to be the Holy Spirit. Hey guys, I just want to say thank you to all the new subscribers. We'd have 78 new subscribers to this channel in the past 28 days, and that's amazing to me. That's God's blessing on this channel. Um, also, 100 new uh, Instagram followers. I mean, that's just amazing to me that we're starting to see some traction here on the channel. So I just want to say thank you if you are new and also that you might consider that if this channel has been helpful for you, I would love for you to prayerfully consider joining our Patreon team. It just makes it so that I can make more content. I mean, we've been pushing out tons of content. If you're not on our Instagram page, we're pushing out daily short form content to help people grow in Jesus. We're pushing out a, a kind of longer form video like this per week just to help people grow in God. And my mission is to see the next generation of people grow in their relationship with Jesus. They don't read theology books. They're going to these social media platforms to learn about Jesus. And there's so much garbage out there. We want to bring good teaching, good theology, practical theology, cultural commentary to this next generation. And so if that excites you like it excites me, join our ministry team. We've got tiers all the way down, you know, from a dollar if you don't have extra income and you just want to say, hey, John, I appreciate what you're doing. Join our one dollar tier. But anything helps us make more content. So prayerfully consider that. I would love for you to join our ministry team, guys. I love you. Subscribe to the channel, like this video, and I'll see you in the next one.